According to reports from state-controlled media, North Korea recently conducted trials of a newly developed 240mm multiple rocket launcher system. The test, carried out on February 11, 2024, involved controlled rockets and a ballistic control system, aimed at evaluating its accuracy and technological advancement, as per the North Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, on February 12, 2024. Specifics regarding the system's upgraded features or its performance during the test were not revealed. Nevertheless, state media underscored the anticipated significance of the 240mm multiple rocket launchers in military operations. The introduction of the 240mm controlled rocket launchers and ballistic control systems is intended to significantly modernize our Army's rocket launcher arsenal, KCNA emphasized. Visuals disseminated by state media suggest that the new artillery system retains a transporter erector launcher, TEL, and a 22-tube configuration akin to North Korea's existing capabilities of 240mm multiple rocket launchers. This enhancement in North Korea's military capabilities is unfolding amidst heightened tensions with South Korea, with plans to deploy more potent weapons near the demilitarized zone separating the two Koreas. Military analyst Yang UK from the Asan Institute for Policy Studies in Seoul views the new artillery system as crucial for enhancing the precision of North Korea's core-level artillery units, primarily targeting military rather than civilian objectives. However, Yang notes that the threat posed by these guided shells remains relatively minor compared to North Korea's existing arsenal of not 23 short-range ballistic missiles and 600mm artillery systems. North Korea's portrayal of their new system as a guided weapon doesn't significantly elevate the threat level, Yang conveyed to our colleagues at NK News. While he expressed some disappointment with the development, Yang recognized the potential necessity for South Korea to bolster its defenses against rockets, artillery, and mortars, see RAM potentially including a mobile version of its low-altitude missile defense, LAMD, system to effectively counter these threats. Some experts speculate on the potential interest in these MLRS from Moscow due to their use of similar weaponry, while also highlighting North Korea's probable motive of generating revenue through arms sales amid financial constraints. Furthermore, these recent tests occur amidst escalating tensions with neighboring South Korea, indicating that the development of a new weapons system is unlikely to contribute to de-escalation in the region.